Hello, how to solve C plus 1 equals C? Now, the question is, is there any solution to this particular problem? That is what we are going to find out in this video. So, what we can do is to take the squares of both part of this equation. This is raised to the power of 2, and this is raised to the power of 2. For instance, if you consider a plus b raised to the power of 2. This equals a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Now, using this identity right here, that means we are going to have this is c squared plus 2 times c times 1 plus 1 squared and this equals c squared considering the fact that the a here represents c while b represents 1. Now if you proceed right here you are going to have c squared plus this is 2c because 2 times c times 1 is 2c plus 1. 1 squared is 1 and this equals c squared. What happens is we can't decide to move this c squared over here. So it's going to change to negative because it's positive right here. And what we are going to have left is 2c plus 1. We have 2c plus 1 equals c squared minus c squared. So right here, we are going to have 2c plus 1 equals c squared minus c squared is 0. Remember, we are solving for C, so we can as well move this positive one over here. It will change to negative one. We have 2C equals negative one. We are solving for C, so let's eliminate this coefficient by dividing each part of this equation by this stated coefficient, which is 2. We divide this by 2. 2 eliminates 2. Right now, we have c equals negative 1 over 2. But the question remains, is this the answer? So, let's check. Let's check. We have c equals negative 1 over 2. Let's check out something. We are going to recall the problem, which was we have c plus 1 equals c. And from what we have solved, we have c equals negative 1 over 2. So let's insert this value right here for c, hoping that it's going to satisfy this equation. So instead of writing c here, we have negative 1 over 2 plus 1 equals negative 1 over 2. There is a question mark here. From here, we can have negative 1 over 2 plus this, we can have it as 1 over 1. 1 over 1 is simply 1, and this equals negative 1 over 2. We still have question mark. Let's take the common LCM here, which is 2. 2 divides 2, 1. 1 times negative 1, we have negative 1. Plus 2 divides 1, 2. 2 times 1, we have 2 equals negative 1 over 2, question mark. From here, we have negative 1 plus 2, that is positive 1 over 2, and this isn't equals negative 1 over 2. On the left-hand side here, we are having 1 over 2, and on the right-hand side here, we are having negative 1 over 2. This simply shows that the answer that we have solved is not correct. What then is the problem? Let's analyze it. Now, I'm going to make use of a graph to analyze this problem. Why is there no solution? So we have this graph right here. And remember the question, c plus 1 equals c. We have c plus 1. 
equals C. This C plus 1 here is an increasing function. Increasing function. And the C that we are having here is also an increasing function. Why is it an increasing function? Now, for instance, if you have, let's see, equals 3. If you insert 3 right here, that means you are going to have 3 plus 1, and this equals 3. The value of this on the left-hand side, this value will keep on increasing. Because if you increase the value of C to maybe 4, you have 4 plus 1. And this equals 4. In as much as you are increasing this value here, this particular function here will increase, and this one here will increase. That is why it is called an increasing function. So it is not a constant function, rather it is an increasing function. Because of that, the graph will be a straight line. The graph of this particular function here will be a straight line that actually cut across this. Because this value here, this value of C can also be negative. So the value, so the graph needs to start from negative to positive because the value of C can be any number. It can be negative 10. When C is negative 10, that means you are going to have negative 10, that is negative 10 plus 1, that is negative 9. And this equals C, that is negative 10. Which is not true. Have you seen it? So the graph needs to start from negative to positive. This is for C plus 1. Now also, this other function here is an increasing function as well. Which can also take both negative and positive values. Since it is an increasing function, it will also be another straight line. And this other straight line here will also cut across both negative and positive value. So this is the graph for the C here. We have this C plus 1. We have this C. Now, if you observe, there is no intersection. There is no point that these two particular graphs will intersect or will meet. As far as that is not happening anytime soon, this particular equation has no solution. Because this particular function here is not touching this other one, it's not intersecting with this other one. There are two parallel lines. Have you seen it? So this is the reason that this particular function or this particular equation does not have a solution because they are both increasing functions. So we can obviously say no solution. If you think there is a solution to this particular problem, can they leave it on the comment box? I will really appreciate, I really want to know what the solution is. Solve it on your own, then tell me if you have any particular solution to this problem. So this is just it. This is what I want to share with you in this particular video. Please don't forget to subscribe and share if you enjoyed this class. Thank you and goodbye.